Are you turns looking at my headgear? Well, hello. That was quite the chaotic intro. My condolences for those who are wearing headphones. Now, today's video is going to be a little different than my regular videos. So for those who might be new to my channel, hi, I'm Antonia and I usually do hair care videos, but today I'm going to be talking about my braces journey. So I just got braces this past week. It was actually on July 11th and I turned 33 on July 5th and today it is now July 16th. So just some time context for you. Also, the day I got my braces on, I also got COVID, so damn you, Murphy, and your law. What can go wrong will go wrong. So my first week with braces was a bit atypical. However, I'm going to be walking you through my journey and making posts every so often. So if you guys are interested in following along this journey, please feel free to like and subscribe and all of that. Also, while you are patiently waiting for your teeth to straighten out, you can also grow out your hair too. It's kind of fun. Braces at 33, why so late? Well, when I was younger, I always had an overbite and it used to be more extreme. And then when I was eight or nine, I had braces for a short period of time. I only had them on the top row and I think I only had four. It was a lot easier to eat then too. And the thing is, I never followed through afterwards. I ended up not wearing my retainer and my parents never really pushed it on me. So my teeth kind of shifted back. And then in my 20s, I just kind of grew to accept my overbite and I thought it was really cute. However, in my late 20s, my bottom teeth started progressively getting more crowded and crooked. And then this one little tooth over here just started doing like a 45 degree angle. I don't know if it's like trying to do like a 90 degree kickflip or something, but it just started rotating and I just did not like how it looked. And also it led to some problems that I will talk about. And another thing with crooked teeth and severe crowding is that my gums started to recede. And I also was experiencing plaque buildup, especially in the area where it's just very crowded. And my dentist told me I was at risk of developing periodontal disease. Even though I floss and brush in that area, plaque just builds up. And my gum tissue was just getting so thin in that area. So braces are going to help strengthen my gums. And once I have that movement, my teeth are gonna go back into the correct placement in my gums and it will be easy to floss in that area and I won't have to worry about gum disease. So I'm just going to show you some photos I took so you can see a little bit more about what I mean, especially with my bottom teeth. So this is my before photo. Oops. I'm not sure how that one got on there. I'm a bit of a mad woman, but you kind of have to be to go through this journey. So insert another one. So you can see that there is a lot of crowding and how the one tooth is just rotating. The tooth just wants to be free. I get it, but I don't want it to go that way. And then this is just a picture of my side profile, just showing how much my overbite sticks out. And then these were just some after braces photos. I was just kind of trying out different smiles and I find my smile is pretty big because of having the hooks. If I don't smile a certain length, then my lip will get stuck on the hook and it hurts. So I've been smiling a little bigger than usual. And then I was just imitating somebody in this photo I'll give you a hint. I'll probably be dancing by myself tonight, especially after that one. 
I'm excited to see my progress in the next couple years and I will continue doing photos and videos. Okay, I decided to come a little bit closer. This is really scary for me, by the way. You're probably wondering why I film kind of far away and there's a couple reasons. The biggest reason is throughout the years I became really insecure of my teeth and I'm like, okay, as long as the camera is pushed back, people will not be looking at them and when I make certain weird faces. And another reason is because being focused on hair, I'm like, you know, people will be able to see my hair and focus on other things. And the third reason is more of a whimsical reason, but I'm shy and awkward in real life and sometimes I will have conversations with people really far away and I know it's really awkward or like I'll be leaving and saying goodbye and then it takes like five minutes and then I feel I have to say a second goodbye like oh I, I know I said goodbye but um bye and we're like 50 feet away. It's like that scene from Batman where they want her to pass the salt. Another thing that's interesting to note is my teeth became my biggest insecurity during the pandemic and the biggest reason for that was Zoom. Everything was like on Zoom or telehealth. I work in the mental health field so when I had started my internship it was all virtual and whenever I would look in the little square when I was talking, I would see my teeth and that was all I could focus on. And so that was another factor. And of course, as a kid, I was teased for my teeth amongst a host of other things. I was just that quote unquote weird kid. I think you all know the type I'm talking about. For example, during show and tell, I brought a worm because I thought worms were so cool. So I was like worm girl, I was um, buck tooth girl, I was chiclet teeth, and the names go on. It's kind of funny now in retrospective. I can laugh at myself and I have a bit of a self-deprecating sense of humor, but at the time it was devastating. My world was crashing, woe is me. Now as an adult, I made peace with the past because their comments are as insignificant as their existence. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about my treatment plan. So I should have these on for two years and I need to get four teeth extracted. So they are my premolars and I don't have braces put on those teeth. So I will have two removed from the top and two removed from the bottom. And then on the bottom, my one middle tooth does not have a bracket and my orthodontist said it needs to earn its bracket. So because there's so much crowding, once the teeth are spaced out a little more after I have the extractions and there's some movement, then I will get a bracket on that tooth. So it might look a little funny, but I'm trusting the process. So the biggest challenge right now is eating. I didn't realize how much crunchy and hard foods I ate. Like I loved eating granola and nuts and even when I would get tacos, I always liked the hard shell. And I had tacos the other day with the soft shell and I had to eat it with a fork and knife and it's just a learning experience. I find some of the easiest foods to eat are things I don't have to chew. So things like yogurt, soup, Smoothies, smoothie bowls, um, mashed potatoes. I haven't had mashed potatoes yet, but they're on my list of things to eat. Uh, scrambled eggs, although sometimes it does require quite a bit of chewing and they still do get stuck in the brackets. Rice, but it still gets stuck. And noodles, although I struggled really hard with pho. I was trying to eat it and I ended up just eating the broth and then I was sitting there eating the noodles on a plate and it took so long and I didn't even finish half the noodles. So I am just relearning the process, just trusting the process. Flossing also takes a long time because you have to thread it through the wire, then move it. Although I really like those little wands, I find it's easy to get in between and sometimes I'll just use that or swish around if I don't need to do a full-on floss. 
And then another thing is the Ortho Wax. I've been using that especially on these little hooks I have. I'm assuming that the hooks are going to be for either power chains or maybe rubber bands. I don't think I'm going to have to wear rubber bands. I hope not because I remember that those can be such a pain. And as far as my voice, I thought I was going to have more of a lisp or it would be more noticeable. So I definitely don't sound like Shelly Marsh, so that's a good thing. And I think my voice might change a little bit after I get my teeth extracted. You know, there might be some whistling noises and I might sound a little different. But that's fine, right? It's temporary and it's expected. When I got my braces put on, I really did not experience any pain. And I remember, especially when they were putting on the lower braces, Dolly Parton, Jolene was played. So now if I ever hear that song, I'm going to think of my braces, which is kind of funny because you usually don't associate that song with braces, but hey. And then um, Stevie Nicks, the White Winged Dove song was playing when they were like, I think, tightening my uppers. So those songs are gonna be my braces songs. But yeah, the whole process when they were putting the braces on, it didn't really hurt. Um, what bothers me the most is my mouth is all cut up, especially from these little hooks. And the corner of my mouth is cut up right now and it's just so awkward. And I've been swishing with salt water, so I find that very soothing. And I'm going to get some Orogel today because I'm like, you know, it's been about five days and these sores are really bothering me. But other than that, it hasn't really been too bad. I'm really looking forward to the progress and sharing with you guys. So let me know down below if you've ever had braces or if you have braces or maybe you're thinking of getting braces. I am here to hopefully inspire some adults to get braces too, to know that you're not alone. And if I see another person out there in the wild with braces, I'll probably say hi and say, hey, I have braces too. Like we're in this together. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post. I will mostly be doing hair care videos. However, I will be doing a lot of braces videos in the next couple years, doing updates every three to six months. Thank you guys again, and I can't wait to see you on my next video. Farewell. Mm -hmm.